good morning students last class we have already studied about solids properties of solids and classification of solids the solids can be classified into two types on the basis of the arrangement of constituent particles they are amorphous and crystalline solids today we are going to study about the classification of crystalline solids crystalline solids can be classified into four types on the basis of the nature of the bond that binds between the constituent particles the four types of crystalline solids are molecular crystal ionic crystal network crystal and metallic crystal before going to start the topic let us study something about the nature of the bond as you all know the main ingredient to prepare food is common salt without salt the food won't be tasty the common salt is having ionic bond the compounds are called ionic compounds they have sharp melting point and they have shining appearance such crystals are called ionic crystals next to ionic crystal network crystal can you see the main component present in pencil yes it is graphite it's an allotrope of carbon the another allotrope of carbon is diamond in diamond all the carbon are bonded in a three dimensional network structure and they have covalent bond these solids are called network solid or network crystals next to network crystal metallic crystal they have metallic bond last one is molecular crystals molecular crystals are classified into three types on the basis of the nature of the bond first one is non polar solid second one polar solid third one hydrogen bonded solid now non polar molecular solid you know the lightest gaseous element is hydrogen in hydrogen molecule the distribution of electron around each hydrogen atom or same in the same way if we take in chlorine molecule also the distribution of electrons around each chlorine atom in that chlorine molecule are also same the bond formed by the equal distribution of electrons around each atom in the molecule is called not polar covalent bond so the bond between two hydrogen atom in the hydrogen molecule is a non polar covalent bond the same way in between two chlorine atom also non polar covalent bond in this the constituent particles are mainly molecules and this hydrogen and chlorine exist as gases at room temperature and pressure see the sample of chlorine in between two chlorine atoms in the chlorine molecule the bond formed is called non polar covalent bond the two chlorine molecules are connected by some force of attraction that forces are called london or dispersion forces see this bulbs in this one what element is present in that bulb can you say the element is nothing but neon in neon there are 10 electrons when the electrons revolve around the nucleus sometimes asymmetrical distribution of electron takes place it creates a dipole this dipole is called instantaneous dipole it induces another dipole that dipole is called induced dipole in the 
next neon atom now the force of attraction between this instantaneous dipole and the induced dipole is called van der waals force or landet force or dispersion force here the constituent particles are atoms now we are going to study about the properties of non polar molecular solids here the constituent particles are molecules or atom they are held together by weak dispersion force or landen forces hydrogen chlorine iodine or the examples usually they exist as liquid or in gaseous state at room temperature and pressure they are soft and they are non conductors of electricity due to absence of ions they have low melting point these are the main properties of non polar molecular solids now one more example for non polar molecular solid is dry ice that is solid carbon dioxide now let us study something about polar solids you are familiar with laboratory reagents can you give some example hydrochloric acid h2so4 hno3 etc now see the lewis dot structure of hcl in this one the distribution of electron around each atom differs that is around hydrogen 2 electron around chlorine 8 electron due to this unequal distribution of electron the bond formed between this two atom is called polar covalent bond and it is formed due to the difference in the electron negativity it creates a slight change in the charges so around cl del minus around h del plus the bond formed between these two atoms which is having difference in the term the electron negativity are called polar covalent bond it creates a dipole that is if we take in hcl in cl del minus and in h del plus now some force of attraction exists between the del minus of one molecule and del plus of another molecule this force of attraction is called dipole dipole interaction polar molecules shows this dipole dipole interaction the strength of the force increases with more electron negative atom the green color indicates the dipole dipole interaction now one more example for dipole dipole interaction that is sulfur dioxide due to this oxygen it creates a dipole and due to difference in the electron negativity also oxygen creates del minus and sulfur creates del plus here also dipole interaction exists in between these two sulfur dioxide molecule now let us recall some of the properties of polar molecular solids the main constituent particles or molecules they have strong dipole dipole interaction example hcl and sulfur dioxide these are also soft and they are non conductors of electricity the melting point of these solids are higher than that of this non polar solids usually it exists in liquid or in gaseous state at room temperature and pressure these are the main properties of polar molecular solids next hydrogen bonded solids can you see the three states of water molecule yes it is ice water and water vapor can you see the shape of water 
the shape of water is bend shape now see the structure of ice the red color ball is oxygen and the hydrogen is white color ball now each oxygen atom is tetrahedral is surrounded by four bond two hydrogen bond and two covalent bond so these solids are called hydrogen bonded solids now let us see the properties of hydrogen bonded solids here the constituent particles are molecules strong hydrogen bond binds the molecules of solids like water that is ice they are non conductors of electricity they are volatile liquids or soft solids under room temperature and pressure these are the main properties of hydrogen bonded molecular solids let us recall the properties of molecular solids the molecular solids are classified as three type non polar polar and hydrogen bonded in non polar solids the molecules are the constituent particles the attractive force exist between non polar solids are dispersion or london forces best example argon ccl4 hydrogen chlorine iodine co2 etc these solids are soft they are insulators they have very low melting point in polar solids also the constituent particles are molecules and the force of attraction between the polar solids are dipole dipole interaction example hcl and sulfur dioxide and these polar solids are soft insulators and low melting point in hydrogen bonded solids the constituent particles are molecules and the hydrogen bond exist between the molecules the best example is water these particles are hard and insulators and they have low melting point so we have studied about the types of molecular solids in this class now try to give answer for this question the first question is classify the crystalline solids on the basis of nature of binding forces how will you classify molecular solids the molecular solids do not conduct electricity either in solid state or in liquid state why name the force of attraction present in the sulfur dioxide molecule and explain it explain the term hydrogen bond that's all thank you